the coach. Duncan. Hey, Doc. That's a good. That's a good. <laughs> that's a <laughs> What do you mean? That's impressive. What, what, what do you think about your, your coach? How old is coach? 51. 51? Okay, no, man, he's active. You know what I'm saying? He, the inspiration in that way. He looks good for 50. Slim, he works out every day. You see him on the Peloton. You see him in the weight room. Um, so it doesn't surprise me. You play one-on-one? -on -one that's a whole different thing. <laughs> When you're watching a game like say last night, was there anything that particularly that you're looking for? Are you watching as a fan or you watching as you like to pick up things from? How, how are you watching the game? I say in every type of way. Um, I mean, I initially started as a fan. I've been watching the game my whole entire life. And now, you know, you're scouting, you're watching teams' tendencies, you're watching, you know, the new players, how they're meshing together, how everybody you know, just placed alongside each other. So, you know, there's a lot of things to, there's layers to it that to, that comes to watching the game. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Christian is a guy you go back a ways with, right? Christian Ruth? Yeah, 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 yeah. What are your thoughts on just this move to Dallas and the opportunity for him on a team like this? I think that's a good situation for him. You know, getting out of, you know, a rebuilding situation. Now you're with the team that, you know, is trying to win and win meaningful games. So, you know, that's always a plus. And, you know, you want to, showcase your skill level on, on the highest highest level of basketball that you know he's gonna get that opportunity here. What comes to mind with this game for you when you think about it? Um just improvement. You know he, he, he never stopped improving and you know I think maybe two two years ago he started getting on people's radars and you know like you said I've known him for a long time and just to see that development you know is pretty impressive. Is this year strike you as any different with this many title contenders in the picture and guys coming up with injuries to those title contenders? Um, no, because I go into every season, you know, expecting every team to be at full strength. You just, you know, it tends to not be that way. You know, you have a long season and, and things happen throughout. So, you know, I always just imagine every team at its best. When I'm imagining the playoffs right now, I'm thinking of every team at full strength and you know, that's how you just go about it day by day. Opening night, year eight, does it feel, how does it feel different compared to year one? Um, pretty similar, man. I, I have the same gratefulness for, for this opportunity. Um, and to be one of those players that's been in the same organization and same city from the beginning is, you know, something I, I hang my hat on that I'm proud of. Um, it's just fun, man. The, First game is always funny because you get like a style, like a week prep versus a team that you're playing against. And then right after this, they just start going. Um, so it's always an exciting time. Bill Owen, you started here so young, eight years, long time. I feel fresh. I'm fresh. I'm young and new. I'm young and new. <laughs> exactly. I got a little bit going down there. That's it. Uh, book mixed last year was the revenge story. Is that still on? And it's tonight a revenge Did I say that last year? Yeah, at some point. I think no, nah, I don't think I said that. Um no, nah, I don't see it. You know, I said that a couple of days in media. People are gonna be looking at this as the revenge game, but win or loss, it's one game in the season. You know, it's not the playoffs, it's not anything special, to be honest, besides starting a new season. And um we're gonna have another one Friday, another one Sunday, and the you know, the season's gonna keep going. And I'm sure you've answered this before in other practices, but with this long offseason, uh, long as you've been three years, do you think it's going to help this team and you in particular, you know, recovering from uh, the, the long grind of the game season? Yeah, that's what I just said. I feel fresh. Um, in my opinion, the offseason a little bit too long. Um, it gets to a point where, you know, like, what am I doing? I'm not playing basketball. What am I doing myself? Uh -huh. And it got to that point. And, you know, that's why the excitement's here. That's why I'm ready to get going. I'm ready to get back in my routine and, and, and what I do daily. But this team has been so special in the last few years. What makes this team, what do you see so far that could make this team special? I'd say just the culture and the environment. You know, it wasn't something that I came into. You know, we kind of built it, you know, from the foundation up, starting pre-bubble when Monty got here to the strides that we made in the bubble to, after that, you know, 
arguably or maybe the best record since since then. Um, you know, so we're just continue trying to improve. And, you know, when you have a group of guys, a coaching staff, a front office that all is on the same page of getting better throughout, you know, it allows everybody to be at the best. Getting ready for I'm all just repetition, um, strength and conditioning, and, you know, making sure your, your body's able to, to withstand the season. And, um, you know, that's what I've just been doing, just been working out. When the, when the conditions part, these things are massive because the average person is not a pretty good album. How does it really for 82 games? You don't. Um, I mean, you, you try your best, but it's hard to emulate what's going to happen on the court. It's hard to emulate the adrenaline that's going through your body. And I always say the imagination, like imagine yourself in a game or in a in a game five, in a game six of the playoffs while you're training. But until you get there, you know, you, you can't feel that until you're there. Cam's question on the revenge tour, that came up when you were talking about getting one back. You would play the team after you had lost to them. You talked about getting one back. It not only applies to this game, but even Portland on Friday, you guys had the game in Portland. I'm sure you remember last year. Early? Year. Yeah. Yeah. How, how much does that yeah. uh, memory help you guys at Fuel to the Fire whenever you need it? Um, it does. I mean, it's a, it's a reminder. Like you said, I haven't thought about Portland yet, but I'm sure that would have came across my mind. I mean, we went there early in the season last year and got our asses kicked. So just relaying that message to everybody. And, you know, it's part of being a leader. Everybody was here, so they feel it too. And like I said, when everybody's on the same page here, we have the same understanding. Like, we might drop a game. And our thing last year was we didn't want to drop two in a row. Like, that was a, that was a big thing for us. And, you know, just keeping those things to, to stay motivated throughout 82 games. What have you seen from Chris so far this year? I know he's got a question what he can bring to the table. The last time he was on the floor, things didn't go well. It's kind of... I seen that new commercial last night. <laughs> Did you see that? I did. That's the last I've seen of Chris, man. It was a good commercial today. Like yeah. his form? I like his form. He was teaching us today. What, what, I mean, what is he just, all these years of experience, what is he still doing? I mean, he's a he's just the ultimate leader, man. You know, he he knows the ins and outs of this game, the front front and the back, and you know it's an honor to be alongside him and get to play and pick his brain, and you know not even forced. When he first came here, there was a lot of questions. Now I can just naturally get it through conversation. And, you know, it's you know it's a part of history, man. That man is a living legend in this game. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer, stamped and. Very long side of him, it's amazing. You got your own commercial, y'all should do a collab or something, right? Some some product out there's better. <laughs> you gotta tell him, man. You gotta tell him to plug me in. There we go. Yeah. All right, Thank y'all. You, yeah.